Hey, good afternoon, Kelly. You know, it can take up to five days for a grocery store just like this one on New York's east side to restock to meet the coronavirus fuel demand. This is produce that actually just arrived a short time ago, and the supplier is trying to get it in the door. Earlier today, we looked at the shelves where you might find sanitizer and paper products and staples like meat and pasta. They were completely empty, and we also saw suppliers trying to get goods in the door as well. So generally, even with this high demand, it can take goods like sanitizer and toilet paper a day or so to get into, into stores like this. When it comes to things like bottled water and produce, that's more to like one to two days. It also depends on where that, that fruit and produce is sourced from and where it's being delivered to. We spoke to the owner of this supermarket. He said demand has increased by more than 100 percent in recent weeks. Primarily disinfectants, hand sanitizers, cleaning products, uh, paper products, toilet paper, tissue paper, uh, paper towels. We are, we are getting restricted on these items. Uh, limited supply is coming in. And we're asking customers that when they do shop, just, you know, please take enough just for the next week or two so everybody can get some. And shelf-stable foods like oat milk, for example, those sales have really grown in recent weeks. They're actually up more than 300 percent uh, year to date so far. Sales of beans, those are up nearly 40 percent year to date so far. And there's, the coronavirus impact could actually reach other aisles in grocery stores. About a third of household goods, those are sourced in China and almost that much of pharmaceuticals and medical goods.